my mother and I traveled out to New York. Uh, we were out in New York where we were on The Letterman Show. In the audience. <laughs> for about three seconds, but if you put it on pause, we're on for the whole show. Anyway, we went out there and so that we would be recognized on the camera, we put on great big red Nebraska shirts. Nebraska shirts. They said Nebraska, right across here, big red Nebraska shirts. <clears throat> In fact, they were too big. And when we got, it wasn't until we saw ourselves on camera that we realized they were too big because the NE and the KA tucked under our armpits. <laughs> so we're waving at the camera, bras. <laughs> bras. Did you know that bras was in the middle of Nebraska? And they think we're not hip out here. Look at that, bras. Well, mine said eat bras, because I'm bigger than my mom. <laughs> my mom's here, I can't believe I said that. <clears throat> it's, it's fake. Um, anyway. So we're out there, we have a lovely time. I take my mom to a play called Angels in America. You guys heard of it? It was just at the Lead Center last week, right? Lovely play. Before I take her, I say, Mom, now there's male nudity in the play, so don't feel like you have to go if you're gonna be uncomfortable with that. And she said, I have diapered five boys. I think I can see males nude on the stage. Well, when we got there, <laughs> I realized that the problem wasn't the trouble with my mom seeing males nude on the stage. It was with me sitting next to her, watching her watch males nude on the stage. <laughs> this was not good. Anyway, in that play, there is a sex scene, which I didn't realize, and I didn't tell her about it. And when that scene came on stage, she looked at me like I put it there. I'm sorry, Mom, it was an artistic choice. <laughs> because of her humorous and her writing, she interviews everybody, every place we go. So when we get in a taxi, she would interview the taxi driver. She would look over the seat at his little card, <laughs> at his little card and say, you know, see what his name is and say, well, Jesus, how do you feel about things in Guatemala? Right? He'd find she'd know everything by looking at that card. And Jesus would tell her. Well, we got in the car after Angels in America, and she's not talking to me now because of that sex scene. Okay? Gets in, we, get in, we get in the taxi, and she looks over the seat, and she says, well, May May, because that's the guy's name, how do you feel about things in Haiti? Well, I don't know if you guys know, but things aren't good in Haiti. <laughs> and, and May May's not happy about it. So May May goes on to talk about how, you know, the Pope is the devil, and, the, and, and everybody in the United States are devils, and the president is a devil, and all Catholics are devils. And my mom, God bless her, says, well, May May, we're Catholic, and we don't feel that way. <laughs> and I'm thinking, we're not Catholic, we're dead. 